Hi there, my name's Peter and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you like what you see here, please feel free to like this video and to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to draw a Bubba Fett's ship, uh, Slave One, uh, but this time uh, landed with its with its sort of loading ramp down um, so that you can see it. Last time I drew it, it was upright and flying. Uh, but this is a sort of a transforming ship and changes quite dramatically uh, depending on what mode it's sort of resting in. Uh, so uh, let's get going. So always get your, get your paper in a nice comfortable position. When I mean comfortable, I mean comfortable for your wrist to draw the the line you're drawing in a nice in a nice way. If your if your wrist is uncomfortable then the the line you draw will be will be awkward and won't won't be a smooth line or be in a way you want it to do so therefore i'm there I'm, I'm drawing the the back top of the ship and i spin the paper right round to get it into the position i want so it's nice my wrist and my hand So it's always easier to move the paper than it is to move your body and move your your drawing position. Okay, so there we are. That's the the top piece of the the ship. And we can do some shut lines. These shut lines are good to just to show the shape of the ship. Okay, and then we've got the top part of the the wings, the sort of feet. Okay. are it's sort of legs that are sort of down in this position as it's sitting on the floor with its loading bay open which we'll show in a second these are the feet lots of sort of okay, right close to the issue of paper there With, uh, with all the Star Wars pieces, there's lots of sort of technical kind of lines and joints and sections, and you can use these sort of joints and pieces to show the shape of the object you're trying to draw. So there are these ribs on here. You can just put a slight curve in them. to show that the piece you're drawing is maybe slightly curved. Okay, right, now let's draw the main bulk of this piece that comes around and to the ramp. And then, okay. Let's get the ramp in. The ramp fully extended down onto the floor. Uh, 
I think the ship looks particularly good from this angle. It's quite an unusual ship when it's flying along, it's just sort of upright and doesn't look obviously like a spaceship, it doesn't need to be aerodynamic, so it, it just looks very upright and odd, but when it's landed like this, I think it just looks super cool. Looks really sort of menacing and purposeful. Okay, now we can try and try and get this doorway in. Get the uh, Connect that up and get the other side of the doorway. And you got the uh, sort of hydraulic struts to pull the mechanism for this open and closed, and then more sort of technical items just sort of sitting in here. And then this this ship sort of has a lot of sort of very sort of facial cues on it with one of its jets on the back. There's some more sort of on the up here. And then there's another door at the side here that opens in a, like a, in a sort of twin way, it's sort of a diamond shape opening like the Renault car symbol. And then the top half opens one way and then the bottom half opens the other way. Let's try and get that in. with a lot of Star Wars stuff you can just sort of add panels just to make it look like it's been constructed okay and then you should then be able to see the other side of the ship coming down this side and then the other the landing foot out this way. Got a mirror of this side coming in over here. starting to come together now. All right, I think if we do the land. I press a bit harder to get this, get this shadow underneath the ship. Looking right. How do you press with pencil? Obviously, just drawing this with a pencil and a and a A4 piece of paper from a K 
Okay, and then there's some extra blasters up at the top here. I just want to add some detail to these. Okay, and there you have it. Quick drawing of Slave 1 landed with its loading ramp open so that Boba Fett can uh, run onto his ship or run out of his ship. Now if you like this drawing please like and subscribe to my channel and there will be more videos like this one. I'll be drawing more Star Wars stuff, more things from Boba Fett, more things from The Mandalorian and more things from the other Star Wars series along other things. Uh, now, go enjoy your drawing. Thank you very much.